This is the Inertia Torque L1000 Impact Tool Torque Tester and it is completely changing the way that we test torque. I'm going to walk you through the ins and outs of this and help you decide if it's right for your shop. So let's take a look at how this thing works. So first thing I'm going to do is turn on the digital gauge. It is USB rechargeable, it's got that nice backlight on it, so it's really easy to see. I'm going to grab some PPE. Safety glasses are as always and you're definitely going to want hearing protection working with this. Now there is a an arrow here at the front and I'm just going to use my hand to make sure that that's turned straight onto the zero mark here and we can see that we're at 0, 0.0. There is also a zeroing function on the gauge itself so you've got that. Now I've got the half inch drive installed on here already. I'm going to throw some ears on and our testing protocol, the way that we find that this is the most stable is to hit the impact for five seconds let it rest for three and then hit it again. So we're going to do it a total of four times for four five second bursts with three seconds of rest in between and we're seeing stable impact at the, at the top of that fourth one. Alright, so I've got my Hilti SIW622. It's part of the new Neuron series from them. It's got a half inch drive on it, so I'm going to use a half inch drive that I already have installed. I'm going to make sure that it is in forward and then I'm going to make sure I'm in high mode is the one I want to test. Now, I do want to point out something that is very, very cool about this. It will read torque in reverse as well. So you can test in both directions if you want to. I'm going to test in forward. So all you got to do is line up your drive. You're going to push it in there. And then I want to time this exactly so I'm not giving, putting the tool under too much pressure and I want to make sure I'm giving it enough rest in between. So here we go. And you can see in this mode, we topped out about 232 foot-pounds of torque on that. All right, so I have checked the torque in forward on this one. Now, I do want to reset this and get it back to zero. So I'm just going to put the tool in reverse. I'm going to give it a few quick bursts, and it is going to kind of slam itself back over there. So once you see that it loosens up, then you can just move it back by hand. And we're starting at the zero point there. Now. We are kind of bouncing back and forth a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and hold that zero real quick, make sure it's back to zero. Now, I also want to show you how this is able to work in reverse mode too. So I'm going to flip my tool into reverse, make sure I'm still in high mode, and everything else procedurally is exactly the same. And you can see we got a little higher that time, 246, 247 foot-pounds of torque. And now we have checked our tool in both forward and reverse. Before we go too far, who is Inertia Torque and should we trust them? Well, this is a company that's attached to Skidmore Wilhelm, and they're known for creating high-end torque testing tools specifically for drills. So we have a high degree of confidence in the people behind building this tool. So what does it do exactly? Well, um, instead of using a, a bolt-based system for testing impact torque, it's all housed in here. There's a couple of pistons. It uses hydraulics and shoots up to your gauge to figure out how much torque your impact tool is actually delivering. And it's kind of cool because, number one, you're going straight into a drive adapter here. There are three drive adapters available for this. We have a half inch installed. There's also a 3 8 inch and a 3 quarter inch. Now it doesn't go all the way up to 1 inch and that's because of the 1,000 foot pound torque limitation that's on this thing. So let me show you how easy it is to swap these out. So it's just a 4 millimeter hex wrench that we're going to use. And there's a set screw up here. Twist that out some. Now we noticed that this screw is a little tighter than we expected it to be but it is really, really obvious when it properly seats the adapter. So if it feels a little sticky, it's supposed to be that way. There we go. So there's my half inch. I'm going to say I want to test my rigid 3 8 inch here, so we'll pop that one in. 
And notice you've got this right up in here. That's where that set screw is going to come in and hold it. And there is a little mark there for us. So we're going to line those two pieces up. It's going to slide in there. And then I'm just going to twist this set screw right back down. Like I said, it is going to feel a little sticky, but keep on turning it and you will feel it seat. And as much as we all love working with hex wrenches, please don't use a power tool to do this. It's really, really easy to over torque this thing. And even though it's not as expensive as some of the torque testers that are out there for drills, you did pay good money for it. So notice we've got this steel plate, and this is available from Inertia Torque, and we suggest that you get it, especially if you need to install onto wood like we did. So it's going to give you a nice, stable, solid platform so that it, what you've attached it to isn't absorbing the torque that's in there. On top of that, we have the torque tester itself. And like we said, your adapter plate's going to go in here. Once you've got that going, then it's a matter of choosing which gauge do you want to go with that. There is a standard gauge, but we recommend going ahead and upgrading to the digital gauge. So we'll kick this guy on here. It is USB rechargeable, and notice it's backlit. We do have some different unit functions that we can choose from. We've got the calibration date that's on there. That's a nice reminder to have. The backlight's nice, and it's going to tell us exactly what that torque is, whereas the analog gauge, you're just kind of guessing within a few foot-pounds or so. So much more precise there. We do recommend going with that upgrade. So what about the accuracy of this? And we had a lot of questions for Brian, one of the main guys behind developing this tool. And the rate of accuracy is plus or minus 1%. So that's great. But we also wanted to test it in some more real world applications. And keep in mind that this is designed specifically for impact torque, not static torque. So when we tested it against a, a standard torque wrench, the benchmark was different. We were reading 100 foot-pounds on our torque wrench, and we'd be reading 85, 86 foot-pounds on here. That's because that slow static torque, it reads very differently than that high impact, fast impact torque. So they've calibrated it specifically for impact tools. And one thing to keep in mind is the upper limit. This is the L1000, and it's specifically named because it's rated to handle up to 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. Now, most of the torques that we have been getting from our tools have been between 65 and 85% of the max rated torque from the manufacturer. So keep that in mind. Your 1,200 foot-pound impact wrench may actually read a little less than 1,000 foot-pounds on that. But keep in mind that 1,000 foot-pounds is the top of the range where you can guarantee some accuracy. This is a precision instrument and you do need to calibrate it. So it's really, really easy. Just send it back to Inertia Torque once a year for calibration. At the same time, they're also gonna do some maintenance on it. They're gonna make sure it's got enough grease in there and check it to make sure that there's no wear parts that are needing to be replaced and things like that. Calibration is gonna cost 100 bucks and it's gonna take them two to three days to turn that around for you. The only downside of that really is that this is a heavy product and so it is gonna ding your wallet a little bit to pay for the shipping. Now let's talk about pricing. So the basic unit with a standard gauge is gonna be $1,250. Now we recommend going ahead and upgrading to the digital gauge, like we said, that package is gonna be 1,500. Additional adapters, they're $125 each, and the steel mounting plate is $200. Now, if you wanna go ahead and get everything in one big package, you can get it with the standard gauge for $1,825, or if you want the package that we have here that includes the digital gauge and all three adapters, that's gonna be $2,075. If you're interested in purchasing the L1000, you can order it direct from inertiatorque.com. That's the only place to get it. Now, we've had a lot of fun testing impact tools, and it's completely changed the way that we do in our test. So if you have any questions about this, or you have any feedback for us, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.